Hi, my name is Abby and I'm with Oxidation Technologies. Today we're going to be talking about gas detectors, specifically portable gas detectors by Honeywell, the BW Solo. This is the BW Solo ozone monitor. This is a handheld ozone detector that can be used for personal safety and for quick leak detection. This is the box that you receive when it arrives and today we're going to take a look at it and open it up. When you order from Oxidation Technology, all of our products come in its original packaging. So today we're going to be opening up the Honeywell BW Solo and I'm going to give you a brief explanation on what's all in here, why, and how to use it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and open up the box. Inside is the monitor itself. Go ahead and pull that out. Then you'll see there is a pull tab. You're going to want to make sure you remove that and you'll see what's all behind here. We have a clip, tubing, and most important, the how-to manual on how to use it. When you first receive your Honeywell device from us, you don't have to worry about charging it or changing the batteries. It's ready to go once it arrives at your door. In order to turn the device on, you'll need to press and hold down the black button on the side. You'll see numbers come across the screen. You're going to want to continue holding until you see the device flash like this. Then go ahead and release. You'll see a little bar come across the screen and then it's going to start reading the air around you. Honeywell designed this to be able to be used for personal leak detection. So what you'll do is go ahead and pull the clip up on the side, clip it to any piece of clothing that you're wearing, and now you're ready to go into any environment and be able to detect the air around you. Here are some quick facts about the BW Solo. This is a lightweight device, meaning you don't have to lug around something clunky and heavy and it won't be holding down your clothes. It has a range of zero to one part per million and has a resolution of zero 0.1 parts per million. It is able to be operated in temps as cold as negative 22 and as hot as 122. The lifespan on these devices is about two years and we recommend calibrating every six months, which is something that I do here at this company. The BW Solo is a small, compact, but easy to use device. Today I'll go over how you can get to the different settings within the device. In order to see the different pages within the BW Solo, go ahead and double click the side and you'll be brought to different phases within the unit. So there's an information page which will tell you battery life um, and what the high and low settings are at. The next page is zero, then we have bump test, calibrate, settings, and exit. In order to get to any of these, say information, go ahead and hold down the button and you'll be brought to that page. Simple and easy. One of the neat things that sets the BW Solo apart from other gas detectors is its availability to be able to be compatible with your smart device. There's two apps that Honeywell has developed. One is the safety configuration app as well as the safety communication app. In order to ensure your ability to download both, you'll need to make sure your Bluetooth is on this device. In order to do that, you're going to go to the settings and make sure your BLE is turned on. Once that's turned on, you'll be able to be connected to your smart device. On the device configuration app, you'll be able to change your high and low setting alarm points without having to go onto the device. The safety communication gives you real-time data as long as this device is connected to Wi-Fi. So you don't need to be on the job site in order to see what readings you're getting and to ensure your company's safety. Every time you use your BW Solo, you're gonna wanna do a bump test. In order to do that, you're going to go ahead and take the clip and the tubing and clip it onto the front of the device. You're then going to want to double click, go to bump, hold down, and the bump test will begin. Once you apply the gas that you're wanting, it'll then take you through a purge, which will then give you a reading to ensure that the device passed the bump test. I'm now going to use our ZO30 ozone generator to show you the difference in the high and the low alarm. So I'm going to turn this on and you'll see how quick the response time is with the BW Solo. Already it's reading at 24, there we go. This is the high alarm and in a moment you'll see the low alarm. You're now hearing the low alarm. And once it gets out of its range, it'll be silent, but you'll still be able to see the reading. 
The Honeywell BW Solo that we use today was used for the gas ozone, but it also comes in a variety of other gases such as carbon monoxide, nitric oxide, ammonia, and many more. You can check out our website, oxidationtech.com, to see availability on each device. I hope today's video was able to better illustrate how to use the Honeywell BW Solo in the gas ozone. If you have other questions, please see the manual, but also visit our website when you look up the product Honeywell BW Solo, as we have more videos, product links, and the full manual on our website. Thank you.